U narednih 15 minuta imaću priliku da od gospodina Livija Morine čujemo više informacija o Peering DBU. Javno dostupnoj bazi podataka koja lakšava globalno povezivanje internet mreža u tačkama razmene internet saobraćaja, data centrima i drugim objektima, tako da molim vas za jedan aplauz za gospodina Morinu. Hvala. The last Dare Devils, uh, I will be, this uh, speech will be a light speech, so uh, I hope that uh, we will go fast uh, to the end. Uh, who am I? I'm uh, Livio Morina, um, just two words about me. I'm um, the owner of a small internet service provider in Italy. I'm in the uh, board of PeerNDB and the Italian Association of ISPs. And today I'm here to talk uh, with you about PeerNDB. The topic is a bit different uh, uh, from the presentation I'm having in other countries because here in Serbia, PNDB is not uh, uh, so widely used. Uh, the, we will see the statistics at the end. Uh, we should uh, to find uh, the reason because uh, you are not using PNDB. Now I will show you why PNDB is interesting. Let's start from here. Uh, PNDB was born uh, in uh, 2015 and it is a no-profit uh, organization. We don't have companies that are paying uh, for sustained PNDB, but of sponsor. So yes, we have sponsor, but we are not company or brand driven. In PNDB, you can find facilities, you can find internet exchanges, you can find all the information to manage the peering. All is user maintained, so it is maintained not by a board or groups uh, in PNDB, but uh, it is maintained by all the users uh, that are using PeerNDB and the members that want to uh, insert the information in PeerNDB. It is useful for peering coordinators, for the internet changes, fa facilities, and network operators. Let's see why. Oh, these are some statistics. So, it is not a brand new project, as I told you, and uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, data in our database. So, it is a primary source to define how to develop a network, how to develop a network, how to choose a facility, how to develop uh, the future project of your business. PNDB so, um, let you decide how to develop your network. Uh, just uh, just to, to introduce a brief uh, way to, to use the, the website. If you register on PNDB, you don't need to register to use PNDB. It is free. You just have to open the web page and you will be able to search for anything. We will see some example, some practical example. And uh, with PNDB, you can also be a member. You can be a member if you have a facility, if you have an entity that uh, has uh, information to, fill, uh, to be filled in the database. How can PNDB help you. If you're looking for a specific network, well, let's say, I did this example a couple of days ago for you, and uh, I was trying to define where Meta Facebook is available here in Serbia. So I started to, uh, to fill the AS number. It is not mandatory the AS number. Uh, Meta word is, is enough. And uh, when I did the search, uh, I get the result. This AS has one network that is the Meta network. Where is Meta Network located? So I have a, a full list of presence worldwide of Meta. I just do, I just did Control F to get uh, the, the boxes and search for Serbia. It is not the best way to to do a research, but uh, I got this uh, uh, this entry. So Sox Serbia, 200 gigabits, the AS number and the IPs uh, that uh, uh, Meta is using. But uh, there is also something. Uh, more interesting and more is more more easy to to spot uh, the Serbian uh, AS number of Meta. As you can see, I search two words: the, the AS number and Serbia. So I get this result. Look at Meta is available at Sox Serbia, and it is not related that I use the word Serbia and Sox has Serbia. I, I will show you in the next slide. This is a beta version of the search engine. So if you use it and you spot errors, please report us because uh, it is still in uh, under development. We introduced the natural language, so it is not so predictive. We, we, need, to def we need to use more and more to define how to optimize the, the results. 
And once I, now I show you how can I find in Albania the same AS number. If you see there, there is Enix. Enix is the Albanian internet exchange. There is not the Albania word close to Enix. But uh, anyway, I got the result. So this, uh, this is a function with the natural language that allow us to, to find uh, an internet exchange. So if you are looking for an internet exchange or are you, looking for, are you looking for a network in an internet exchange and you don't know from where to start, uh, you can just uh, use PeerNDB. I understand that uh, Serbia is not uh, a huge country, so maybe you will know all the networks in all the internet exchange. But if you need to approach uh, um, a country that is uh, next to you, you could use this, uh, these tools to understand where is a backup uh, position for one content. It is also useful to define where a facility is available. We can make an example with the Serbian facilities, and uh, I just wrote uh, facilities Serbia, and I got nine uh, entries. I, and I could understand that in Serbia maybe there are more than nine facilities, but these are the facilities that uh, um, users decided to insert, users or owners of these facilities. There are also sensitive facilities that are not filled here or they, they refuse to be there and we only show the facilities that are allowed to be shown. I want to do an example in a, a, wide, uh, in a, in a wider country. In this case, uh, I'm, I, only shows, I only show the Milan facility, so not the Italian wide facilities, but only the, the ones uh, in Milan. You can see a lot of uh, facilities, and if you want to go to Milan for any reason, I don't know, you have a customer, you, you need to go to Milan, you have a database to start uh, and say, okay, I can start from these facilities. Let me check the website, let me check uh, what these facilities are offering. And uh, you don't need to start from Google, searching for Facility Milan or Data Center Milan that you will get a lot of uh, reseller with no facilities. These are certified facilities because if you try to, to fill a, facilities, a facility that does not exist, uh, maybe you can join the database, but in a couple of days you will be removed. Once you check one facility, you can see in this case I selected CDLAN that is in the heart of Caldera campus in Milan. And CDLAN also shows the networks available in the facility. So you have a list of the networks so you can understand what are the operators that uh, did the declaration that uh, I'm here. And you can also see the internet exchanges available uh, inside this facility. So in this case there are three internet exchanges that you can connect just uh, collocating there your uh, devices, your router. If you're searching for a facility in an area, maybe you, if, I, if I needed to search a facility in Serbia, maybe I know the, world, I know the city of Belgrade, but uh, a closed city could be uh, a city that is unknown for me. So we have uh, also a new, a new tool that is the Google Earth, KMZ, and in this way you can see all the facilities available on PeerNDB. This function has been introduced 15 days ago, so it is a brand new function. It is working well, so uh, I, if you want to report some bug, you can do it, but uh, at the moment I could say that you can use it uh, with uh, confidence. When you zoom, you can get more information about the area. And once you click uh, on uh, one of the facilities, these are the facilities here in this area, you can get uh, the basic information. So you get the latitude and longitude to define where is it. It is not mandatory that the point is exactly on the data center. Someone prefer to keep it uh, 100 meter far or not define exactly the building. We are talking a secret that is not a secret, but. Uh, it could be useful to, to be a bit uh, not too precise with that. You have a website, you have the organization name, and you can start to take your decision. So you can contact this facility because it is located in an area where you, you want to be. About PeerNDB, PeerNDB is a, a user-based community. So anyone can contribute in PNDB. These are the committees. Uh, here you don't see the board. As I told you, I'm a board member. 
Uh, we are not involved uh, as board member in the operations, but there is an admin committee that is the committee that is answering to the tickets. Our commitment is answer to the tickets in less than 24 hours. So it is a, a free and uh, member-based association, but uh, we have a SLA with a high level SLA. So we will reply to your request very, very fastly. The operation committee is the committee that is managing the, um, the daily operation, the development of the database, uh, the development uh, of the operational point of view. The outreach committee is the committee that is managing social, that is managing promotion of PNDB, and as the world say, is the, it related to the outreach. The product committee is the committee that is defining what will be the new function of PNDB. Anyone can contribute uh, in the request. Uh, there is a GitHub uh, page where you can register, where you can see what is happening, what is uh, proposed by other users. You can do plus one, minus one. This is uh, bullshit, this is good. I want uh, uh, this function that I, I dreamed last night. No problem, you can go there and fill your, uh, your ideas. Other members, and also historical members, will take care about the, the request. If the consensus will be wide, our product manager will develop it. The product manager is a paid developer, and uh, where are we taking the money from the sponsor? I will show you the sponsor in the next slide. These are the tickets that uh, we manage every year, around 32 a day. So over 10,000 tickets uh, every year. We are looking for volunteers, so if you are, if you know something that I'm showing now, mainly in the uh, operation. So if you know, if you are, if, if you are, if you have the skills of um, around the skills on containers, you can uh, send us an email and say, okay, I I can contribute because uh, I I have time because it is important that uh, you have skills, but also time because if you don't have time. Uh, you, you can avoid to send an email, but if you want to be part of this project, you are welcome. We have a lot of uh, documentations. We have uh, the blog, we have the post on uh, the socials that I invite you to follow, where we, pop, where we share the news, the new beta that we schedule every month. We, we create uh, one post in the blog every month, so we have a complete way and guide to define how to join, how to start, how to, how to use the advanced tools, because now I'm not going deeper in the case, but there are APIs, and uh, a lot of operators uh, are using uh, PNDB as a source of trust. So a lot of operators, big operators, are not giving you the peer in an internet change if you're not present in PNDB. So if you want to peer with someone, let's make an example, Fastly, that is the CDN, will not uh, send you the routes uh, if you are not on PeerNDB because there is a strong automation on the PeerNDB database and without your records, you will not get the, uh, the routes also if you have an active uh, peering session in an uh, in internet exchange. Yes, yeah, here is the, the process uh, of the, our development. Uh, if the slides will be shared on the website, you can take a look. This is the Serbia from our point of view. As I told you, it is not so so widely used. Uh, we can see that uh, in Serbia you have one AXP that is owned by one uh, operator, nine facilities owned by nine different uh, owners. There are 35 uh, networks in the AXP and so on and so on. But I want to go in the last three lines. Uh, there are 25 Serbian networks in PNDB, but uh, on the RIR, so RIPE and also IRIN, other, other uh, RIRs around the world, there are 203 AS numbers. So only 12% of the networks uh, that are active in Serbia are on PNDB. And this is a, a very low number. Uh, if we want to compare with Greece, uh, I was in, uh, in Greece last week for Giarnog, or uh, Italy, they are around 40% of the networks. Um, it is normal that uh, we don't have 80% or 100% because maybe some AS is related to a bank, to someone that is not interesting, interested in uh, develop uh, a perfect peering or a perfect exchange. Maybe they will have two uplinks, more than enough, and 
nothing more is interesting for them. But 12% uh, is a bit uh, low. What is the, the point? The point is that if you are not there, today you are already um, have a problem with your networks because big content providers that as we show uh, as we saw during the presentation uh, are the uh, the biggest entities uh, that are sending you traffic will not send the traffic correctly so maybe you will get the traffic from a different cache from a different country and it will not be optimized beyond peer db will avoid uh, this problem these are our, our sponsors so, as you can see, uh, there are first-level sponsors that are sustaining us, but these sponsors are not owning PeerDB. They are not uh, putting conditions. Mm, they are users. They are members like me, like you. So they cannot uh, drive our our project. All the projects are, dri are driven by the GitHub record. So if you want to give uh, your um, your contribute to GitHub, you're welcome, and uh, you can get. Uh, all uh, the function you want if they are supported by the community. Do you have a question? Do you have any questions for Mr. Morena? Neko pitanje za Livia? Izgleda ne. Thank you. Mr. Morena, thank you. Grazie mille.